Okay, let's get started. To start out, I'll be using two of these craft boxes from Dollar Tree. So what I want to do is I want to remove the tops from both boxes. Alright, so now I want to remove the bottom from one of these boxes. And just cut it. I probably could have just punched it through. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I want to do is take some popsicle sticks because I want to glue these two pieces together. Some hot glue and put it right inside. And I'm going to do several. Okay, so now I have four. I'll go ahead and add one between each. So now if you have any seepage, you need to remove it. Now, so what I'm going to do next is put some hot glue on top of these sticks. And then I'll glue this on top. I'll even line it up in the back. So now I'll let the hot glue dry and then clean up that seepage. I have this glittery champagne gold paper that I'm going to use to wrap this. Okay, moving right along, I have one of the nine inch cylinder bases from Dollar Tree. I have some of the silver vinyl adhesive. So I'm gonna wrap the outside of the base with this paper. Okay, to make this side easier to cut, I started with the scissors and this is going to be the bottom. So I'm just going to lay this up here and then use this ruler. And this is not going to be easy. I'm going to go ahead and put this, put the vinyl on the glass. Okay, I'm going to fold this up. I've done this once and I didn't get a good result, so I'm trying something new. Okay, that seems to be on there pretty straight. This part might take some time. Now as you can see, you have this excess. Just go ahead and cut that off. And now you want to remove that top sheet. And just push this top down all the way around. Just like that. Now as for bubbles like this at the bottom, you just take your blade and just put a little bit of a cut in there and you can remove them that way. You just need a place for the air to escape. Okay, so since I want to make this easy, I'm going to measure. Y'all know I never really measure. Now I'll cut it with the exacto knife. Take a little bit of hot glue. And lock one side down. 
Okay, so this is our base of our lipstick. Isn't that pretty? Okay, here I have a box that I used already and one of the Dollar Tree sanding blocks and I have this because this is what I'm going to use to make the actual lipstick. I have four. On the first one I did, I used three of these. But this time I want the lipstick to be a little longer. So I'm going to go with four. So here I have a mask that I'm going to put on. And so what I'm going to do is just shape these into the shape of a lipstick. And you'll see how. It won't be perfect and that's okay because I'm going to end up wrapping my lipstick with one of these Dollar Tree plastic chopping mats. So yeah, I'm going to wrap it with that so it'll be really smooth. But I need this to build it. Now really I could just use the chopping mat and make the lipstick, but I don't want it to be hollow like that. So I'm going to put this mask on and get to work. So what I want to do is try and make this even with this. So I'm just going to start sanding this down. Another way you can do it is like go up and down like that. But I like to start at the bottom first. Okay, as you can see, it's coming together evenly. I'm gonna do all three of these and then come back when I have them all done. Okay, so that's a pretty good fit. So, of course, the lipstick slants down and the very top one needs to slant. So, I'm going to start on this side. And I'm using the really rough side of the uh, sanding block. I'm just checking, you definitely want the widest one at the bottom. I'm gonna take a hot glue gun and start gluing these pieces together. Now, if you can't use a low temp, it's melting right there, but don't worry about it, it'll be fine. What I'm doing is you don't want the top to be wider than the bottom. Okay, I actually made this a little bit more narrow than I wanted to, but that's okay to all work out. So now I have one of my mats, the Dollar Tree mats. And what I want to do is measure how tall this is. Now what I'm going to do now is wrap this and then glue this in place. And you want to pull it as tight as you can, just like that. And so I'll just go ahead and cut the excess off. If you cut too much, just slide it up. I'm using the foam really to give it shape and to make this piece more dense. So yeah, I'm going to let this dry and then come back and move on. Okay, I'm done adding the tape and I trimmed out the top. So what I want to do now is glue Take a piece like this and just glue it down to it. So I'm going to take some hot glue. I'm going to make sure I go right on the top of the rim. All the way around. I'm 
I mean, I'm gonna have some hot glue seepage on the outside and we'll come back and clean that later. Okay guys, so I let this sit up for a while. So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and cut this off. Okay, so now I have some glue seepage. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just cut through the glue. Okay, so I'm done trimming all the excess plastic from around the top of the lipstick. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the tape. I end up having to trim some of the plastic from around here. So whenever you're putting your lipstick together, before you um, seal everything down, you might need to sand down your foam some more. Make sure once you put your plastic on that it fits in. So I would urge you to put a couple of dabs of hot glue on the seam, slide it in and make sure it fits perfectly, and then I'll go ahead and use some strong adhesive. All right, so now that I've done that, I wanna go ahead and spray paint this pink because the lipstick is going to be pink. And I found this Krylon, it's called Krylon Shortcuts. While the paint is drying on the lipstick, I'm gonna go ahead and put some Mod Podge on my Chanel logo. And I'm doing that because I want this to be thicker and firmer, so that's what it's gonna do. I'm gonna brush some of the Mod Podge on the front and then come back in after it dries and do the back as well. Then I'm going to cut each letter out individually. And I'm trying to make sure that it's as smooth as possible to avoid streaks. Okay, here I've stacked a whole bunch of blocks together, seven layers, and there's four across on each one. And what I'm gonna do is glue this in the bottom of this paste. This is how low it sits, and I want it to sit higher. So now we have our pink lipstick, and it's completely painted. I really didn't worry about that and there's some like some glue on here but I'm not gonna worry about it because now I'm gonna add some glitter on it. So now I'm gonna take some glitter and Mod Podge, mix it together and then brush it on here. All right, so I'm gonna let this completely dry and then come back. Okay, now the Mod Podge and glitter mixture is completely dry, but I'm actually not done with that finish yet. So before I finish it, I wanna go ahead and glue it on the inside here. All right, so I'm gonna use some of this Gorilla Glue. I'm gonna put some right inside the top. So now what I wanna do is take some more of my mixture and brush it on. And guys, whenever I put loose glitter on certain pieces, I like to do a base coat of the glitter and my podge, just in case some of the glitter chip off. And then if it does, you have a, a glittery background. So that's why I like to do that. Okay guys, so I let this sit for about an hour. The glitter is completely dry, but it still will shed. So what I wanna do is use some hairspray to seal it. Now you can use some Mod Podge spray as well, but I don't have any. And normally I use the Dollar Tree hairspray, like the extra hold, 
but unfortunately they were completely sold out. So luckily my daughter had some hairspray and it says uh, blasting free spray, scream and hold for hair so this should really do a good job. Alright so I'm going to pop my mask on and spray it on. And if I get it on here, I can just wipe it off. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. Okay, moving right along, I have the base to my lipstick. And again, y'all, y'all really need to see this in person. This paper is so pretty. This is the very back. I also have my Chanel letters right here. I think I want to put them around close to the bottom to make sure that they are even. I'm going to put some masking tape around the base. I'm going to put some Mod Podge on the back of the letter. Just like that. Now I'll continue to add these around, come back and we'll see what they look like. I'm done adding Chanel to the base. So now I'll go ahead and remove the tape. Now this Mod Podge, it took a lot of pressing to get it to act right. So you might want to use the Fix All or some other type of glue unless you have the patience to make sure that it's sticking. But yeah. The battery on my camera died doing this part. What I did was took a piece of this paper and traced the bottom of this. And then I cut that circle out. So what I need to do now is glue this down. And once I glue it down, I'll trim it even all the way around. So now I'll use scissors and cut this lip off. So this is what it looks like once I put the top on. So what I want to do now is embellish it with this bling that I found at Dollar Tree. It's more like beads. Start from the back of my lipstick. wipe it on the blade. And I'm making sure that I'm covering up the seam where this little lip um, meets the side piece. Now let's go ahead and clean the neck part of it. Make sure it's really clean. Put it on display. Let you guys see what it looks like. 